Ah, there you are. What's up, Chief? Looks like you've got a pretty important announcement to make. It gives me great pleasure to congratulate you on your promotion to Chief Inspector. From now on, you are one of the highest-ranked officers in this station. And now, as a result, I can now officially permit you to participate in our operation against the illegal races. That's great! At last! Thank you very much, sir. Congratulations, partner. You made it. Thanks for your support, Stefan. Now we can get really busy. Then it's time for you to get down to work. Talk to your colleagues. They will fill you in on the details. Let's take a good look at the pinboard as well, so we have an up-to-date picture before we start. Let's get going. Congratulations on your promotion. Thanks. Well, it's taken long enough to get this far. You said it. But you've now gained the necessary experience. And by the way, we've now spotted this fellow Kringle's car quite a few times. So, where is he now? That's the problem. His car is very fast and he's not a bad driver. He's already given us the slip a few times. On the other hand, our best driver hasn't got involved yet. If anyone can catch this guy, it'll be you. I couldn't agree more. Leave it to me. I knew you'd say that. Stefan's in on it too. Hey, what the? Doesn't that ring a bell with you? An accident? Was it caused by the speeders who were also involved in my case? Looks like it. It's about time somebody did something about it. The last meetings were not very productive. Yes? I was wondering, aren't our cars simply too slow to nick these speeders? Governor, the mayor called again and asked if we'd nicked the races yet. I'd better come back later. Those were hard times for coffee cups, but that's all over now. So, are we ready? Should we take out these guys now? What a question! Let's go! Sir, we're ready to get our hands on those races. Yes, I'm sure you're well prepared. What's your plan? Our colleagues have ascertained that we're looking for a certain Sasha Kringle. We know what car he drives, and we have the details of his driving license. Jan and Jessica went to his flat, but there was nobody there. Maybe we should try again? Just a minute. Didn't Jessica say it was not the right address, in which case there's no point in going back there? Yes, you're right. Well then, we'll focus on the motorway instead. He has been spotted there quite frequently. So, you seem to be pretty well informed. Yes, sir. After all, we were just waiting to finally be allowed to participate in the investigation. Fine. Off you go, then. Find this fellow, escort him all the way to our back door, and bring him in for questioning.
Uh, tell me again. What car was it we're looking for? OK. Poison green sports sedan with racing stripes across the roof and bonnet, orange rims. Look over there. That car stands out so much. That has to be it. You're right. After him. Maybe we should have gone in civilian clothes after all. Stop moaning and get after him. There's a warrant out for your arrest. Please step out of the car calmly and raise your hands above your head. A warrant? What's that about? I ain't done nothing. So, Mr. Kringle, I hope you're going to cooperate. Uh, there are a few things we would like to know. I know nothing at all. Oh, yeah? Then why did you race off when we tried to wave you down? I was scared. Attempting to avoid arrest is a crime in itself. Think again. Do you really not know anything? Uh, okay, maybe I know a little bit. We have known about the illegal car races on this section of the motorway for some time. What are these races about? Well, I, uh... Come on! You can do it! Give us something! You're completely putting me off. Yeah... Now you are already very deep in it anyway. Afraid of your mates, are you? To be perfectly honest, yes I am. Heiko may seem nice enough at first glance, but he's not. Besides, according to him, we're all in it. What is bothering you? Are you afraid? Of this Heiko fellow? If he finds out that I'm telling you about the races, I'm sure I'll be in deep shit. Sounds like a real charmer, your Heiko. I have a suggestion. 
you tell me everything you know. In return, we guarantee you a reduced penalty for your attempt to avoid arrest and police protection. Does that sound like a plan? A plan, yes. But will that be enough? All right. Here goes nothing. The next race is today. You can only participate if you have a recommendation from a member. Ah, so of course only trusted people get in. Hmm. Stefan, what do you think? Should we go undercover? Oh, of course. I'm sure our boss won't mind either. Mr. Kringle, would you please give us a recommendation? If that's what it takes, do I get my mobile back then? Then call your friends. All right. Heiko, it's me. Listen, I've got a guy here who wants in. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Um... Hmm? Of course. They're pretty easygoing and cool. I don't bring you rubbish. Yeah, yeah. Look, mate, just trust me. They're not gonna tell anybody. They're not daft, you know. They're wheels. <laughs> you wanna see it, man? It's a real stinger, I reckon. So, what do you say? Shall we count them in, or...? <laughs> okay. Thanks, man. See ya. Knock yourself out. I hope you're really as cool as I advertised you to be. Otherwise, Heiko will see right through you. When do we start? What do you mean, we? Are we supposed to take you with us? Well, of course you are. Otherwise, Heiko will smell a rat, won't he? Anyway, how else will he know that you're the guys I was telling him about? I don't like the idea, but I suppose he's right. If we just turn up there without him, this Heiko guy is liable to get suspicious. Then we'll take a little trip with you now. We can use the information, but we certainly can't take part in such a race with our old bangers. I knew you'd say that. Here, with the best wishes from the governor himself. A golden key?